And this guy coming to the stage, ridiculously funny. I love this guy. And uh, he actually has a show the first Saturday of every month called Around the Corner Comedy, which is kind of around the corner from here. It's Belmont and Levitt. Uh, so please, it's the first Saturday of every month. Please check it out and give a warm welcome to our next comic, also making his Chuck debut, Blake Burkhardt, everyone. Blake Burkhardt! Thank you, Joe. Hi, everybody. How is everybody doing? Good? All right. Give it up for all the comedians you've seen so far. Haven't they been wonderful? I think so. Yes. Okay, I'm a stand-up comedian myself. Tonight, I'm going to do something a little bit different. Uh, rather than just a regular stand-up set, I'm going to demonstrate my skill of a particular part of stand-up comedy, and that's dealing with distractions. I have to deal with distractions all the time. Hecklers, uh, loud noises in the back of the room, things like that. So I've invited my, uh, my dear friend and fellow comedian, Bill Gewurz, to come to the stage, and he's going to try his best to distract me while I do a short comedy set for you. And you'll, you'll be able to judge how unfazed I am for whatever he has prepared for me tonight. So here's Bill, give Bill a round of applause. All right, so how's everybody doing tonight? Good, yeah? All right. You know, the thing I've been thinking about lately is this uh, TV show from the 90s, Dinosaurs. You guys remember that show? It's crazy. Uh, it was my favorite show when I was a kid. And thanks to Netflix, I can re-watch it from beginning to end. So I did that. I watched it from beginning to end. Remembered all the episodes. Remember laughing at the same parts I did as a child. And I also remember just like the details of every episode. But then it got to the finale. And there's this crazy thing. If you haven't seen it, the finale of the TV show, Dinosaurs, something crazy happens. Like, the family sits in a living room. Wait, 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 and they just, I just got the fader with face their own death. Why do you keep them on the table? And, like, it literally you gets the point where the father and family is sitting around and he says, uh, well, I guess we'll all just die in this house. You want you want you want you want you want you I don't think And the other children are like, oh, my God. So it's weird that I don't remember that episode. But what's even stranger is that... I don't even know where I was the day that that episode aired. So now I have a new theory about my life. No! on the night of the dinosaurs finale. That, that makes sense. Wake up! By the way, I forgot to ask you. I don't hear from out of town. I just got to be with us. From here, Chicago. We are not like you want to order order make up. Cabs, you want to? I was to be you want to? Why do you think you want to be with You want to? Give me a break, man. It's like twice the price, yeah. and it's like it takes half the time. So why are you upset with me? That would be like if I got upset with a girl taking half the time to, you know, get in the relationship the way that that I wanted her to, you know. But I never get that. Like, I've been dating a lot recently. Uh, and I, that brings me to this next point. I have a couple confessions to make. The first is that I, Blake Burkhardt, genuinely enjoy the music that Bruno Mars makes. I like his music a lot. That's my first confession. The second Mother! confession is that Mother! I tend to only date women in their early days. I'm in my Mother! late 40s. And even when I go on those dating I websites like Tinder, settings to 18 to 22 me, and I already told you I'm 29 so that's not okay but then, you're probably thinking right now that those are the I'm just one of those crazy guys that only dates women in their early 20s because I'm only attracted to them that's not what's happening the truth is that I just have fun with those who the only women who are dates with me and I'll elaborate on this thought see like women in their late 20s like I'm in my late 20s they say things to me like, so you don't have any money at all? No money? Not even in the bank? Right. And then women in the early 20s say things to me like, I like Bruno Mars too. So there's that. But beyond that point, I've come to realize. Thank you very much. <laughs> 